All right, guys. Well, there's some crazy things going on on the channel. Uh, we're gonna give the Ford a little bit of a rest. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's just getting a bit of a rest. It's gonna get stored uh, for a little bit because Ron Tonkin Kia in Gladstone, Oregon contacted the channel and told me about the new Kia Telluride. It's a brand spanking new vehicle on the market from Kia. It's a midsize SUV and uh, they want to hand this vehicle over to me for a period of time so that we can set it up uh, for camping and off-road uh, and overland style off-roading. Uh, as it is right now, like I said, this is the very first one to get to the dealership. They handed it over to me. I need to get all my gear out of the truck and out of the trailer that I'm going to use and put it in the car. Right now the car does not have a receiver, so we're not going to be able to take my little trailer that I normally have but it will eventually get a receiver and we'll be using the trailer with this car eventually. But for the weekend, we're gonna take it out just bone stock and see kind of how the car performs and how we do off-road with it completely stock as it is. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna go start uh, unloading the trailer, getting everything out of it, unloading the truck, getting everything that I think I need and we're going to take this thing off out in the mountains and, uh, and have a good weekend out camping with it. Okay, well, I think we're ready to go. I think we got everything loaded in the car for a fun weekend. And uh, let's get this thing fired up and see what she can do. I'm gonna have to get used to that push button start. All right, so we've been driving the Telluride now for a couple hours. We've just been on the highway. We're, we're trying to get out of the populated areas of uh, kind of around the Portland area and get into some national forest. I'm working my way kind of southwest. My goal is to try to get over to the coast and then from there work my way up into the coast range and get up into some mountains. But as it is, driving the car now for a couple hours, the car's been great to drive. It's extremely comfortable, the seat's extremely comfortable, throttle seems very responsive. If I give it a little gas, I have to kind of watch it because, it, I mean, this thing just takes off on me and uh, really, really goes. So I'm really enjoying that and the steering uh, seems fairly positive to me. Like I can feel the road, it's not like I'm having to manhandle the steering wheel at all, but at the same time, I definitely feel like there's uh, some really nice responsiveness to the to the steering of the car and the dogs seem to be enjoying it you know I've got the seats down uh, I got a couple sleeping bags out and a cushion back there for them and uh, they're completely sacked out and enjoying it and I also like the fact that I can control the uh, temperature back there for them so that's kind of nice and another feature that I'm really liking about this particular Telluride being the EX and I think it's in the EX uh, and above is the fact that I have win, uh, window shades that I can put down for them because it is actually a sunny day today and, and somewhat warm uh, so it's nice to be able to put that shade on them and help keep them cool in the back so uh, yeah just really really pleasant for in that in that aspect for the dogs.
good. Here's it. All right. Good boy. Come on, Daisy girl. Uh, come on. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, this isn't exactly what I was hooking for when I was trying to find a camp. I was trying to find something that had a little better view. But all in all, I'm actually really glad I found this camp uh, because it is actually really close uh, to the ocean and there's not a lot of great dis dispersed camping locations that are very near the ocean. So this is actually a good find. Not necessarily what I was looking for for this particular video in this car, but we'll do some more uh, searching around tomorrow and see if we can find what we're looking for tomorrow. But as it is right now, it's a little after five o'clock. Uh, the sun's starting to kind of go down. And so I figured this would be a great opportunity to go ahead and stop for the evening because I just threw all my gear into the car and I don't really have anything uh, situated the way I want. So it's going to take a little time for me to kind of go through the car and get everything set up. So uh, we'll start to go through, uh, move everything around, get everything adjusted and uh, and get set up because we are planning on sleeping in the car me and the two dogs sleeping in the car tonight but i do plan on having a campfire i do have some firewood i've got some more beyond this it's behind the refrigerator but uh yeah so let's start getting all the uh let's get everything situated get a fire going uh, make some dinner and just enjoy this nice evening Well, I think we got things fairly well set up. Uh, every, you know, it's not perfect by any means, but uh, I think we got a good set, good enough setup for them tonight. And like I said, you know, this is probably the only weekend we'll take the car out just exactly like this. Once we take it back next week, it'll start getting accessorized. And you know, the main thing it'll get is the receiver. And once it has the receiver, I can start pulling the trailer again, uh, my little CVT trailer. But for the most part, I think I think we'll get by for the weekend and, and have a good time with the car uh, just the way it is. And I think it's kind of cool that, you know, you can take a car and, uh, you know, this thing is completely stock, doesn't have a thing done to it and still end up in a, an amazing place like this and be able to camp out overnight and uh, have a lot of fun. And I've got a nice fire and the dogs are... You know they're napping out in the in the back of the car and we're gonna sleep in the back of the car and it's just a real simple setup and it's gonna be I think it's gonna work out real well but I did realize that with all my stuff that I've done uh, that I tried to remember to grab out of my uh, normal setup I did forget a cup but uh, just because I've got a fancy new sophisticated car doesn't mean I'm too sophisticated to drink my Pendleton whiskey straight out of the bottle hmm so anyways, we're gonna relax. We're gonna enjoy a little Pendleton. I got my stove out. We're gonna get some dinner going and uh, we're just gonna have a nice evening out.
all right well we're just gonna start getting coffee going here uh, it's a really nice morning a little bit overcast not much of a sunrise this morning but it's very warm and it's not raining and zero wind which is really really pleasant we had a great night last night in the Telluride slept very well uh, it's very spacious back here. I'm able to sleep uh, in the end without touching and I'm six foot four So that should give you a pretty good idea um, How much space is in the car? Uh, I did sleep so we had uh, my sleeping bag and then I had a mattress down underneath the sleeping bag And then I had an extra sleeping bag in here for the dogs and with all the space there was uh, tons of space for me and the dogs to sleep in there, so that was great. But right now, I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna finish getting this coffee going and uh, maybe relax a little bit here with a cup of coffee by the fire. All right, well, we're all packed up. Uh, dogs are all loaded, gear's all back in the car. Uh, I think we're just gonna head back down the road and uh, cruise along the coast, uh, keep uh, a lookout for some more campsites and see if we can come up with another great place to camp tonight. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I really wanna give a big thanks to Ron Tonk and Kia again for giving me this opportunity to get this car out. I'm really excited about uh, the, the future and uh, getting this car outfitted and really getting out on some adventures once it's um, once it's a little bit more overland ready but as it is like I said I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a like uh, if you're just finding my channel and you enjoy uh, camping and photography and exploring around uh, definitely uh, give my videos a look and subscribe and I'll see you guys again outside